what is going on team and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you exactly how i personally utilize the ict turtle soup and how i make sure i have a very high win rate with these turtle soup i've gotten a lot of questions and dms regarding ict turtle soup there seems to be a lot of confusion around it which i completely understand so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So just to make sure everybody's on the same page, I'm quickly going to run over what the ICT Turtle Soup is. So essentially what you do with the ICT Turtle Soup is that you buy the highs or lows, meaning that you buy these stop losses up here or you buy these stop losses down here, depending on your bias. So in this case, let's assume that your bias is buried, right? You obviously want to look for a liquidity sweep above buy stops. So in this case, we have relative equal highs here. And when price does this, comes up, sweep the high, and then rallies towards the drawn liquidity, that is exactly what we call a turtle soup. But how do you actually know when price is going to take out the highs or lows and then rally towards the drawn liquidity rather than doing this, just displacing higher? That is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you exactly what I look for and how I know whether the highs are going to be a liquidity sweep, aka a turtle soup, or if we're just going to take out the highs, maybe come down a bit and then displace higher again. So let's jump onto some actual charts and let me show you exactly what it is that I do. So this will be the first example. This is on NQ and the one minute chart. This is a great example. So first of all, it looks like we are inside a market maker sell model, right? We have the buy side curve here. We have that sell side curve over there. Then what more do we have? We have equal lows down here, right? Relative equal lows. That is a lot of sell side liquidity that is resting below here. So we have a clear drawn liquidity, which are these equal lows down here. So price is doing exactly as it's supposed to do during a market maker sell model. It is holding bearish gaps, right? So this actually happens twice in a row here. We have a one minute bearish for gap here and we have a one minute bearish for gap here now what happens is price comes up into the for gap makes a high and then drops lower now remember we have a clear drawn liquidity so we can expect this to act as turtle soup and price wanting to make a new high and rebalance to the for gap but this is a prime example of where i would personally trade the ict turtle soup because i have a clear drawn liquidity we have hit this gap so now if we come back to this gap i can expect these highs to be taken out and then a drop lower you see it all the time we hit a gap once drop down take the highs inside the fairway gap and then drop lower okay so we have equal highs here so that is where i am going to place my order my stop loss is going to be the end of this fairway gap actually let's do it a bit more safe and do it right there at the body of this high and then we'll target these equal lows down here so let's see what happens there you go uh it's not gonna look like this all the time of course but you can see the point that i'm trying to make we come up sweep the highs create a new high also known as an intermediate term high that is when a high fills a for gap if we are truly bearish this high should hold because it filled a for gap so that is often what happens Again, it happened right here. We have a clear drawn liquidity, which is these equal lows down here. Then we have a gap. Price rallies up, hits the gap, comes down lower, comes back up again to create a new high. Also the ICT turtle soup and then drops lower. So again, this could have been an entry and then targeting the lows down here for a really nice one to six right and this is actually a prime example of how i personally utilize the ict total soup find a clear drawn liquidity in this case these relative equal lows here find a fervé gap which we have here price taps the gap comes back down comes back into the gap sweeps the high that was created inside the gap and then rallies lower if your drawn liquidity is correct, this has a, an extremely high win rate, okay? And you can expect this to act as ICT turtle soup, meaning that we just come up, sweep the high, and then instantly drop lower. No displacement above, no nothing. You see this all the time on fair value gaps. We hit it, we drop lower, we take out the high inside the gap, and then we drop lower again. Now, let me give you a few more examples because there are also a few other times that I will use the ICT turtle soup. But this is definitely a very, very high win rate if your drawing liquidity is correct. Find a fair value gap. We hit it. You don't enter yet. We drop lower. 
and then you enter one once we sweep the high, right? And that is exactly what the ICT turtle soup is right there and right there. Another great example is right here. This is on a five minute chart and judging from this chart right here, my bias would definitely be bullish because we have low resistance liquidity here and we have relative equal highs right here. And so if my bias is bullish, I could therefore expect bullish for bag gaps to hold, right? Now, if we take a look here, we have a clean five minute for bag gap here and we created a low inside of this gap. Now, when we initially came down to touch the gap for the second time, we did not sweep the low. So if we come down to this low again, and if my bias is correct, I could expect this to act as turtle soup. So my entry is going to be this low and we'll put our stop at the C of this gap. And then we'll target this high here for a one to three almost. And there we go. Now we could expect it to pump up and it does again because my bias is correct. We have a PD array low, right? This low did not fill this gap. So we can therefore expect if we sweep the low again, that this acts as turtle soup and it is just a liquidity grab and we will continue to go towards the drawn liquidity. And then we created an intermediate term low, meaning that this low is the low that filled this five gap. And if we are truly bullish, this low should hold. We can also use this on the higher time frames and then drop down to the lower time frames to find our entry, right? Kind of like the 2022 model. So another great example that I like to use is if we have a high right next to a higher time frame PDA rate. So for example, we have a 15 minute for a gap here and this high did not hit that gap yet. And because this high did not hit this gap yet, I can expect this high to be a turtle soup. I can expect us to take out this high and then drop lower because we have a high that is this close to a higher time frame PD array and it did not hit that PD array. So what I would do is go on a lower time frame, maybe the one minute, and then I would wait for us to take out this high and hit this 15 minute gap. There we go. We take out the high, hit the 15 minute gap, and now I can expect this to act as turtle soup and then we drop lower, right? So then I would look for an entry. Let's see, there we go. Right, so we have a clean for vague gap here. Let's place our entry right there. Stop at the high and then target the lows for a one to two. And let's see if we get TP. There it is. So we utilize the higher time frames to get our entry on the lower time frames. And again, the reason I believe that this was a turtle soup is because the high right here did not hit this gap yet. So when we take out this high and hit this gap, I can expect us to drop lower and then look for my entry on the lower time frames. Because as you can see, this was indeed a turtle soup. We only have bearish price action for about 45 minutes. So this trade right here would not be very valid on the 15 minute time frame, right? But on a one minute time frame, that is 45 candles and that is plenty of candles to find your entry. So personally, on the higher time frames, if I find a high that I believe is going to be turtle soup, I wait for us to sweep that high. And then I go on the lower time frames to find my entry. Kind of like the 2022 model, right? Again, the reason I expected this to be a liquidity grab is because we have a high right next to a higher time frame PD rank. And again, the exact same thing happens here. We have equal lows. And what do we have right below that? We have a five minute untouched for a gap. So if I was bullish, which in this case, I probably would be because we have a lot of relative equal highs here. I could therefore expect these lows to be a liquidity grab, AKA a turtle soup. And I could comfortably buy these lows, right? Because we have an untouched gap right below the lows and none of these candles build this gap. So we could do it like this and then target these highs. And let's see if we will actually get filled. We will right here on the very next candle. We drop a bit lower and then we go straight to the equal highs, right? So again, I'm very confident in my bullish bias. I find lows that has yet to fill a gap. And if my bias is truly correct, these equal lows should not be displaced below, but simply be a liquidity grab to send us higher. And that is exactly what happened. Again, if you're not comfortable just buying these lows, what you can do is drop to a lower time frame, like the one minute, and then look for another entry. So let's see if we got one. Again, right here is a great example of an ICT turtle soup. We come down, we hit the gap, we come up, we come down, then we sweep the low that initially filled the gap. And then we can expect that to act as ICT turtle soup. But let's see here. So there was an entry for you right there. 
a ICT breaker block on the lower time frames, and then you can just target this high, for example. There you go, right? So again, if you're not comfortable buying lows like this, find lows that you would expect to act as ICT turtle soup based on what I just told you, and then drop to a lower time frame and then look for an entry there. That is often gonna give you a safer stop loss. So if that is what you wanna do, go ahead. Right here, we have another great example. We have buy side liquidity resting above here. We have low resistance liquidity right here. And ideally you would like to have some higher time frame confirmation to your bullish bias. But let's look at this. We have a 15 minute gap here. This is the first time that we hit this gap. Then we can drop to a lower time frame. In this case, this is the two minute. And then I could expect this low to get taken out and act as turtle soup. Why? Well, because this low did not fill the gap yet, and it is the first time that we are touching this gap and we have a bullish bias. So I will place my entry at this low. We'll put our stop good way down there, and then we'll target this high for a 1 to 2.65. Now let's see. We come down, and again, it is very simple. We did not fill this gap entirely yet. This is the first time that we are touching this gap. Our bias is bullish. Therefore, we can expect price to come down, make an intermediate term low, sweep the low, and then go higher. So again, what happened was on the 15 minute chart, we came down, hit the gap for the first time, did not fill it. Therefore, we can expect that low to be our turtle soup. And then price creates an intermediate term low, meaning that it creates a low that fills the gap and then rallies higher. And ideally, if we are bullish, that intermediate term low should hold. And that is really all I have for you today. This is exactly how I utilize the ICT turtle soup myself. It's a great strategy if you are comfortable just buying uh, sell and buy stops like I just showed you. But if your bias is correct, this has an extremely high win rate if you are doing exactly what I just showed you. So I really hope you enjoyed. A lot of people have been asking me for another video on the ICT turtle soup. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.